Hello guys, welcome to Codocraft. So today we'll discuss about uh, our new playlist JavaScript Random. So here, we, that's why I'm making the first video is random number generation in JavaScript. So uh, here we'll see how to create a uh, random number with, uh, using different ways. Okay, so before that, if you like our videos, if you love to see more like these videos, Please subscribe us, please like us if you like him. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so there are four ways which uh, will help us creating random numbers. In many places, you would uh, like to use it to create a random uh, number token to create a random number for your some identification. You may be using it in some other places. So, yeah, so whatever the purpose is, so how do you create it? So, there's a function met.random that will give you a decimal number which would be around less than one okay and if, if there's another way to use uh, a mean and max which will give you uh, a minimum range and maximum range and those two values will not be included okay that will also be using random as well as flow then similarly you will use you will be using a uh, random function as with along with that flow and here mean and max will be included so if you are giving a range of 1 to 100 you may get one okay you may get one. right similarly using uh, uh current unix epoch uh millisecond that will also give you a random number okay so these are the four ways so let's see in action okay so here i have uh kept the html ready and if we'll see we have four random numbers generations and if we'll click on generate it will all uh, these all will be giving zero because we have put return zero so now we'll write according to the uh, four uh, different you know for different way of uh, getting the number we will be writing it so let's start write the normal first one is only math dot random okay so let's see so you are seeing one number, zero point something, right? So now let's take the number and make it a whole number. So I'll just take this one, put it here. And in this, what I'll put is, I'll use math dot load. And I'll take the random. And here, I'll multiply it with your maximum minus minimum okay so let's say i'm taking maximum as 10 1000 minus minimum is one and as we don't want them to be included i'll add the minimum again to it so if i'll put this and save it so let's see you got something which is in between okay so if we'll see this okay so if you want to uh, give a little bit you know uh, flexibility then uh, let's put let mean equals to one and let max equals to one thousand or ten thousand and i'll replace it to max and this would be mean and this would be mean. Let's see. Okay, cool. This number is in between 10,000. But there's no chance that you will get 10,001. It will be excluded. So to include them, a little minus change will be doing same. Let's get the same thing and put it here first. And here, what I'll add is max minus mean and inside this i'll be including one more okay plus one then outside of this one okay outside of this one i'll be adding the same mean okay so let's see max minus mean plus one okay is 
this one and I'll add this plus to the whole thing. Okay, let's see. So this would be the output. Okay, so let's put the similar min and max here and see. Yeah, so, so here you will get the so if we we'll keep on generating you will get one number which will be your peripheral value mean or max okay so next is simple dead dot now see okay so we got the phone numbers i'll be putting this code in the description as well uh, I'll only put the functions, this return statements or uh, the functions, okay? And the rest all things are normal, uh, your normal binding codes. So that's all. So I hope this will be helping somebody somewhere. Thank you.